First on Fox tonight, one of the biggest elections this week remains unsettled. Tonight, only 35 votes separate. Mid-State Congressman Scott Desjardins and his primary opponent, State Senator Jim Tracy. Tonight, Desjardins is claiming victory, but Jim Tracy says not so fast. Fox 17 Sky Arnold joins us live now from the state capitol with what happens next. Well, Scott, uh, Desjardins tells me he's declaring victory because the Secretary of State's office here has all counties in. And he's up by 35 votes, but Tracy says, well, there are still some ballots out there that haven't been counting, counted yet. Of course, we're talking about provisional ballots that some voters end up uh, filing by hand. Now, they're cast by people who either didn't have a photo ID or there's some question about their registration. Tracy's campaign believes there could be 100 of them uncounted in 16 counties in his district, including Rutherford. Desjardins, on the other hand, well, he says that's not going to be enough to make a difference because some of these won't even involve his race. You know, there's probably less than 100 out there. Uh, and so there's you know, a fair number that are Democrats, and then you know, we're going to get our fair share, I assume. So I, I don't think it's enough to move that number. Now, whichever candidate is right, time is critical. As the voter who cast a provisional ballot with no picture ID, those who did that, they need to get their IDs into the election office by the end of business on Monday if they want those votes to count. And these provisional ballots, they may not completely end the race. If there are questions about any votes, that's obviously something that could come into play with a, a margin so thin as, as we have currently. If there are questions about some of the votes, well, what could happen then is the losing candidate could end up appealing it to the state Republican Executive Committee. That's a committee board of leaders, 64 of them. They would then look at the evidence, Scott, and decide who won the race themselves. We're live at the state capitol. Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.